Good day YouTube, Mr. Darby here with the final on my Bella Tribute build. Um, as you guys know, it, it's a CJ5, I think about a 1965, somewhere in there, maybe maybe newer than that, I don't know. But I built the um, Daisy Duke Jeep and uh, I think it came out really great. Um, I hope you enjoy the, the pictures of it. Um, I'm going to just put a little video in there where I explain a few things, but most of it will be pictures because the video isn't coming out all that great trying to, you know, show what I have, but I hope you enjoy. All right. Here we have, um, again, the Jeep. Uh, just a few things. Uh, I thought it was neat. I noticed on on Aries' page, he had pictures of his Jeep, a red Jeep, and he had, I think this is the Canadian Air Force flag. So I put that on there. It, it comes off with just the pull of this pin. Um, the hubcaps are off of um, a 1970 Jeepster kit. Um, I really like the way they look on here. Just tried to be different. Um, the tires are off of the uh, Revell's Ford Bronco kit because I didn't want it really high but I didn't want it you know looking low I think that that actually is a pretty good stock height I really like the way that looks um, I did do some scratch build things on here because it was just too hard to use the original parts the mirrors the the mirror ends the mirror part of the mirrors is actually what came with the kit I just cut them off and drilled holes in them and the mirror posts are straight pins and I just drilled a hole inside of the side of the dash there and pushed them in so that's the uh, the mirrors I did the same on both sides and I know they're shaped different but I I remember in the day these all being bent up and shaped different anyway so um, the the windshield is movable. Um, I use Moloto marker for the uh, instrument gauges. I don't know if this helps. Um, I just painted them with the Moloto marker and left it at that. Uh, the the um, white gear shift knobs. I just thought white kind of off kind of looked good with this light body color and, and gave it some character and all I did was sand off lightly the um, chroming and left it at that. Um, the interior is a spray can uh, leather color. I kind of tend to use that for a lot of my kits because I just I like that color. And then I also used a um, a black wash really lightly all over it to give it a depth kind of show the grain of the seats uh, the hood um, I'm kind of let down a little bit by the hood uh, it looks good here um, it works it, it, it you know I can take the hood on and off um, but I feel I filled in um, the underside of the hood where it had where it had, um, you see, you can't see it really through the outside, but it had cutouts to where you can cut the hood out and put some funky, funky motor in, and, and it, it shows. I filled it in. I, I never primered the kit. Maybe I should have primered the underside. Um, maybe sometime when I'm bored in the future, I'll figure out a way to better hide that. Um, Jeeps were always just bare metal here, so, you know, what, what can I do? But, uh, so, yeah. Now the paint color is a color shift. It's this, um, um, folk art color shift. I guess I'm getting known for that because I love this stuff. This is called a red flash. Kind of looks like a hot pink, but it, it is a red flash. And, and I, I wanted to do a, a red for, because apparently Bella liked red. The, um, here on the uh, the uh, grill supports, the radiator supports, 
these are paper clips that I cut and I drilled holes in the radiator ears right here so that they you know they're super glued in but yeah so that um, I made my I have a scratch built distributor and I'll you'll see it better with 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 pictures but the distributor I used a vintage style one of the old big pins the old kind where the insert was a brass I just cut that up and hollowed it out more than what it was and, and ran some um, blue wire in there, some old wire that I used that I got from Radio Shack back in the day. Um, notice there's no battery. The kit didn't come with a battery. I may eventually put a battery in there. I was just kind of pressed for time and, and, and it probably wouldn't take that much to put a wire up a battery and stick in there. So that's something and add a detail to add to the future. Um, you notice on the bumper here, this top cover, that is roof flashing for those of you guys who do your own home repair. That's flashing to go around things that go through your roof. Um, the headlights, I just drilled out the back side of the lights to give it the bulb look. And then I used Elmer's glue or canopy glue. I think I actually used canopy glue on that. Um, to hold them in. The orange lights um, I took out of a model truck kit. I painted the back um, with a silver marker and then also used the uh, canopy glue to, to put it on there. So that's how I got those lights. Um, the underneath is, is pretty much stock. All I did was try to paint detail it a little bit, you know. Uh, I was going to go with a Chevy 350, but eh, it didn't pan out. I couldn't get it to to line up. I did. It's hard to see here. I did take and drill out the uh, exhaust tip. I did waller that out and paint it black on the inside. Just little neat things that we could see. The tailgate, I know it has a hole there because that's where the spare tire goes, but I really didn't like the idea of the spare tire on it. Um, I could put one on there, but I drilled through the little tab here all the way through the body, and then I put a piece of wire in the body so the, the tailgate does open, and you can see there the, the, the little wire. And um, it, it is stiff, so I, you know, I guess they probably would have had a chain or something, but you can shut it up again and just. You know, it had to be careful. It's not a toy to be banged around, but you can close it again. It's best to look and see what you're doing when you go to close it. But it does close, trust me. Um, so yeah, that's that's the build. Um, the decal here for Jeep. And I'm mostly not even in the in the camera film. The Jeep decal came out of the uh, Revell jeep rubicon that that skill level two that has no motor i use the decals out of that for the for the jeep part um i don't know if i said this earlier the grab bar here is also a paper clip that's been bent and i just drilled out the holes a little bit more and crammed it in there so you know i do plan later on um putting a trailer hitch maybe on here you know it, it depends what I want to do it'd be cool to put a small trailer on here and, and, and maybe a little teardrop travel trailer or something but yeah this is how it came out I, I hope he enjoys it you know it's I'm calling it done but you know when I get bored and I just want to add some more detail I will sometimes it's best to let a model sit for a while and then fool with adding extra details if you try to do it too fast you tend to mess up I, I know there's no roll cage um, the roll bar in this kit I've never seen one like it on a real Jeep it didn't look good um, the consensus was was just to leave the roll bar off so I did you know and I hope that people don't you know have bad feelings that there's no roll bar but nah, there's no roll bar and I don't think I'll ever will put one on there so this is the video portion of this 
Jeep review. I want to take some better pictures and uh, and add those to this this video. Good day YouTube, Mr. Darby here with the final on my Bella Tribute build. Um, I have a little bit of video on it, but um, I'm going to use mostly pictures because it will show the detail better. But, you know, before we get into this video, as always with, with um, Aries Styrene, this is what we're drinking today. And a toast to you, my friend. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tribute build. <sighs> Pretty good. So YouTube, that is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for some more videos. I plan on making a few more today, hopefully, and, and posting them. Um, I'm not going to tell you what they are. You're going to have to look for them and find out. <laughs> so with that, remember, it's, it's only a hobby. Enjoy it and good day.